vultures. And so, uh, just uh, so tell me about what you're up to. I can't talk right now. Okay, it's all right. Thank yeah. you, though. We're, we're in the middle of planning an action right now. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, well, yeah, sorry about that. Then I won't interrupt you. Yeah. Okay. Well, very good. Yeah. I just talked to you. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, Greg, can I ask you a question? Yes, you may. Um, Come over here away from there. Yes. There, that's an affinity group that's planning their bike action at the oh, moment. Oh, cool, cool. Okay. Um, how would you, the, the media is going to treat today as arrest, arrest, and arrest. And yet, here in the park, we see many, many people gathered peacefully, you know, nonviolent. How, you're a journalist, how do you decide what story to tell? Because it's sort of sexy when the cops beat up and drag people away, but that's an old story. Yeah. In America, the rule is, if it bleeds, it leads. And therefore, provocateurs, assholes, punks, um, you know, um, trust fund babies with nothing better to do get all the attention and the real people don't get the story. That's why I report for BBC television across the water because when I cover a demonstration and I cover an event, I cover the demonstration and I cover an event. If someone's pulling off some sideshow stunt, I'm not going for the stunt. But that's not how American TV works. Plus, they then want to say, oh, look at that. Look at those evil people doing these terrible things, and that becomes your story. So, you, so they let other people seize your story. And all you can do is keep going on and on and on until enough people get your story through alternative media, or better media, or the internet. There's just no other way to do it. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, like, American journalism sucks in a half. Are, uh, are you doing this? Hey, Chris Hedges has been critical of some of the tactics of some of the affinity groups within Occupy Wall Street specifically the anarchist groups. How do you feel about his critique? Well, look, again, you can't have a few people seize a movement that's a wide movement. You know, we. I thought one of the things you're trying to do, in fact, I've just written a book that's coming out tomorrow called Billionaires and Ballot Bandits. It's all about how the fucking ultra-rich are stealing our democracy. So. We can't have our own little 1% of the Occupy movement, right? We can't have the 1% of the Occupy movement say we are the movement. Just like I can't have 1% of America, a bunch of billionaires say we are America. So it's the same thing. It's the 99% voice that needs to be heard, whether it's in the park or in the office towers. And there's really no difference. So I don't like one percenters seizing control of the media. I don't like one percenters seizing control of the debate. And I don't like one percenters owning what we say. And I don't care who they are. So you're talking about one percenters on both sides. Yeah. The I mean, if, if you have a few, if you have one out of a hundred people here who decide that they're going to throw a rock through a Starbucks window, why should that one percent freak show take over the voice of all the people who are here. Is that the I mean, they're allowed to have their voice, fine, but they shouldn't be speaking for everyone and by and by stupid, petty, bullshit acts of, of, of kind of pretend violence. They understand that they are seizing the microphone. This is supposed to be the people's mic, not the freak's mic. Is this a lesson of Seattle? Seattle was a little bit different. Seattle was a, a bit different in that the the demonstrators who decided not to create a ruckus um, had kind of a, of a working relationship with those who decided to put themselves in the position of being arrested and creating a little bit of mayhem. So that, frankly, was organized and agreed upon by all the groups beforehand that some people would agree to put themselves on the line or be arrested or create a little, a little ruckus. But that was a decision of the, or, of the total planning organization of Seattle. Um, when people run off here and don't say, what do you guys think? Aren't there general assemblies here where people are supposed to express an opinion and, and people make come to a decision? Uh, so I am concerned. And, but I, again, I want to be careful because I don't want even our discussion to be nothing but about a small group of people. I think the story I'm trying to get here is about people, for example, right now I'm looking for the debt block because I'm covering the issue in the Congo and in Detroit, and I was just in Wisconsin yesterday. How do we get that story out about America being seized by debt vultures who, who after they practiced uh, chewing up the people in the Congo, have now come to America? And they're running this campaign. Okay, thank you.